So, the warm-up, <coughs> it says, again, any missing work you have, you can check Skyward, make sure you turn that in. I do have some papers to grade. If you've turned some stuff in, I will put that in. Uh, you wrote holiday on Monday. Okay, so square root of four. If you tap it in your calculator, it'll tell you what the square root of four is. Now, if you don't know where the square root button is, it's right here next to the number four. Uh, the x squared button, but you got to, it's right above it. You have to press control x squared. Okay, so control x squared, and we can put square root of four, it gives you two. Okay, uh, square root 25 is five. And then square root of 10, this one is not going to be a whole number. 3.16228. You can, I like to round two decimal points, so 3.16 works for me. Okay, so does everyone know where the square root button is on your calculator? You could type them in, right? Okay. Now, let me pass out these notes. Again, if you're quizzing, finish the quiz first, and then you can catch up with what we're doing. Like I said, finish the quiz first, and then you can work on the food. Okay. This is from last week. It's just a grade update. But those are missing. You can work on those later. Okay. Okay. So everyone's looking at these notes. Okay. It is incredibly important today. Can you finish? Okay. Thank you. It is incredibly important today that everyone is paying attention. Okay. So I'm going to insist that you take out the headphones, put away the phone. Take away the headphones, put away the phone. This stuff does not have to be hard, but you got to pay attention on the notes, and then it'll all be easy, I promise. But it's new stuff, new stuff. So, again, we can put that phone away, put those headphones away, and when we all get on the right same page, then we can get started. But I am waiting till we're all on the same page, okay? As long as it's not on, I don't care. Okay, cool. I want you to put the phone all the way away and take out the headphones because I already just literally asked you, can you put it all the way away, all the way away? Thank you so much. Shouldn't have to ask you every day. Okay, perfect squares. Now, when I say square, what do you think of? A shape. But did you know numbers can also be squares? Here's what I mean. Y'all know the little two squaring, squaring a number times itself? Okay, this is asking, or these are all square numbers because a different number was squared. So what number squared gives you four? What times what is four? Two, right? So next to four, I'm going to put two squared, which is that little two, and the exponent, two squared. Okay, what about, okay, just randomly change colors. Okay, what about nine? Nine is a square. Nine is what squared? Three squared. You might already see a pattern. So 16 is what times what? Four times four, so four squared, right? All right, and then we're gonna go all the way down. 25 is five squared. 36 is six squared, all right? 49 is seven times seven, 64 is eight squared, and all the way up to 11, okay? <clears throat> so, these are square numbers that you wanna know what times what is that number, okay? So that's going one way. That's how you get square numbers. So working backwards from a square to the number that you squared, it's called square rooting. That's what radicals are, square roots. So the square root of 4 is what times what is 4? 2, okay? 
So square root of 4 is 2 because 2 times itself is 4. Okay, that's the relationship between square numbers and square roots. Okay, so square root of 9, what times what is 9? 3. Okay, you get the idea. And it's all the way down, same thing. Square root of 16 is a whole number. 4. Square root of four, uh, 25 is 5. All the way down. Okay. You want to be good at recognizing when you have a square number. Okay. It's not, you don't have to like work to memorize it, but you might be able to recognize, okay, some of these squares in the future. Cool. Now, <clears throat> on the warm up, we used our calculators, right? And you just typed it in. Let me be clear. Is everyone listening and looking right here? We are not just typing it in our calculators on these notes, okay? There's a way to simplify a radical, y'all see that right here? And it's not by just typing it in. So it's very important that I have everyone's undivided attention as long as you're done with your quiz. Um, that way you can do this. Every one of you can do this. It might look hard at first, but it's not, okay? So first thing we need to know, by the way, there's all these, there's all these steps to this, okay? I'm not gonna read this. I'm going to show you how it's done, but if you wanted to, this is how you can read it, okay? Um, what we want to do first is do what's called a factor tree, okay? So look at example one, square root of 50, okay? You type that in the calculator and get like 7.07. .07. That's wrong, 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 okay? Don't do that. I'm going to show you what to do right here, right now, okay? Everyone looking? Factor tree. Who has heard of a factor tree? Anybody? Okay, cool. Now, usually trees go up. Okay, they do, uh, but we're actually going factory treeing down. So think of it like the root system, going down. We are going to break down 50 into what are called prime factors. So you can go ahead and make a little split off, okay? Now, first of all, you got to know what the word prime means. Have you all heard of prime numbers? Anybody, anybody, anybody? Okay, a prime number, first of all, cannot be broken down into factors. Did you know factors go into another number, okay? If I asked you what are the factors of 10, I'm asking you what multiplies to make 10? What multiplies to make 10? Five times two. So you see how those are factors? They, they're like the building blocks of another number, okay? So everybody with me? Factors, we want prime factors. Primes cannot be broken down, okay? So let me give you a number, two. Does any number besides two and one go into two? No, that's a prime number. Okay, it can't be broken down. Three, no number goes into three besides the same number and one, right? But four, what makes four? What times what? Two times two. So is four prime? No, okay? If you can break it down, it's not prime. If it's, sorry, if it, if it cannot be broken down, it is prime. If you can break it down, it is not prime, okay? So what are the prime numbers? Two, never one, okay? It starts at two, two, three, not four, five, six, seven is prime. Uh, what about nine? Is nine prime? Can it break down? Nine is not prime because it's three times three makes nine, right? You see how that works? Um, so here's the deal. Even numbers after two, none of those are prime because you can divide them by two. Y'all know even numbers can be divided by two, right? So here's the deal. What we're going to do to this 50, is everyone looking up here? We're going to break this number down starting with the smallest prime number. What's the smallest prime number? Not one, two, okay? So, I know, one seems like it would be, right? It's actually two, just take my word for it. So does two go into 50? Two times what makes 50? 25, right? Hopefully we can divide by two mentally. If not, use your calculator, okay? So 50 is really two times 25. Can everybody write that down for me? Two times 25, okay? So you're gonna have to do this for sure, this unit. So is everyone breaking this down with me? Two times 25. When you break a number down, I want you to cross out the one you just broke down. So 50 is gone now. Forget 50. It's really just 2 times 25, right? Okay. Now, look at 2 is done. That's a prime. 25 is not prime. Just always start with 2. Always start with 2. Does 2 go into 25? No, because it's odd, okay? What about 3? Does 3 go into 25? Now, you may or may not know, but let's pretend like you just really don't know. Does 3 go into 25? Here's what you would do. You would say, hey, 25 divided by 3. If I get a whole number, it works. But I didn't. Okay? 
So three doesn't work. Four is not prime. What about five? Hey, 25 is five times five. Okay, so break down that 25 into a tree of five and five. And since I broke down 25, cross out that 25. It's gone. Okay, so we've made a tree. Did you finish your quiz? Okay, you can turn it in and then catch up with us. So we got two, and then both of these fives are prime. They don't break down anymore. It's just one times five makes five. That's it. Okay, so I have three prime factors. That's what we call it, three prime factors. Now, what I'm about to show you, a lot of people can't, like forget or they're like, it's boring, and I get it. It's math, right? It's, it is what it is. So we're going to make this a little bit more interesting. Y'all like, like things a little bit more interesting? I'm going to tell you all the story to help you remember how to do this. Okay, I want everyone locked in here, looking up here. I want you to look up here, please. So, everybody, we just had a three-day weekend. Now, maybe y'all were responsible, kept your distance from people, you didn't want to spread germs, but some people probably went to a party, you know? Now, who likes going to an uncool party? No one, okay? Who likes to go to radical parties? Right? I don't want to go to no lame party. I want to go to a radical party. So this is a radical house party, right? Hey, imagine it's before 2020, okay? Maybe, what were we all in middle school? I don't know. But anyways, you go to a radical house party, right? Everyone's playing video games or whatever, okay? So radical house party because there's a radical there. Now, these are the three attendees of this radical house party. It's kind of a small one, you know? Not too bad. This is one of those teenage stories, right? Your typical teenage story. What happens at the party? Well, there's these two, these two numbers. They just, they just realize they're so alike. They're so compatible. They have the same values. All right? They know it's going to work. They see a, across the room, five, I'm a five, you're a five, All right? And guess what? They become a couple. Wow. It's teenage romance, right? It's going to last forever, right? Well, anyways, go ahead and circle. Anytime you see a pair of numbers, circle them. So right now, five and five. Two and five, they don't, they don't match. They don't, they don't see eye to eye, right? They're not the same height, whatever. Okay, so, so five and five, circle those. Okay, now, five asks five. Hey, would you go out on a date with me? They want to go out. They're in the party, but they want to go out on a date, right? They want to go to Whataburger, get the Buffalo Chicken Ranch. Highly suggest. All right, well, anyways, so it, it's pretty sloppy. I'll be honest. It's all your But um, here's the deal. Another thing, this, te this teenage story has teenage tragedy. It's so sad. Here's what happens. When they leave the house, one of those five steps on a landmine. I don't know why it was there. Don't ask me. But it does. It's so sad. Everyone's crying, weeping. It's so sad. So guess what? Cross one out. They just found true love. It was going to last forever for sure. But guess what? Tragedy strikes. So when you circle a pair, you got to cross one out because um, it just happened. You know, I can't explain it. That makes for a good movie, I guess. But I don't know. So anyways, radical house party. Now here's the deal. We said couples go out, right? They go out on a date. So they go out to the left. So five goes out here to the left. Go ahead and put five outside of the house party. And then here's the other sad part. The loner. The two. Couldn't find another two. All alone. Crying. Listening to that sad boy music right here. Inside. So sad. So put the two on the inside. And that's how you do reducing radicals. And there is no happily ever after. It's actually just that. Don't cry because they're just numbers and they're not people. Okay, so here's the deal. Don't ask me to leave because you need to be here for this. Okay, so circle your pairs. Pairs go out. Loners stay in. That's the rule. Okay? Cool? Now, there's different variations of this. So let's look at example two. Uh, what did we do first on example one? Got to break it down. Factor tree. Let's do a factor tree, everybody. Uh, 24 is even. What do I always have to start with? Two. So always try two. Does two go into 24? 
2 times 12. That's his down. But since I broke it down, what do I got to do here? Cross out 24, please. Okay, it's gone. 2 is prime. Leave it alone. 20, uh, 12 is that prime. Or what's going to happen? Break it down. Always start with 2. Does 2 go into 12? If it's even, it's yes. 2 times 6. Okay, 12 goes away. Okay, 2 is prime. 6. It's even, once again, break it down by 2. 2 times 3, cross out the 6, and 3 is also prime, okay? Now, <clears throat> once again, MLK weekend, 3-day weekend, radical house party, you know, going to play some basketball, shoot some hoops or whatever. Now, there's 2, 2, 2, and 3. And Ain't doing anything weird here, okay? Only couples. Do we have a couple of two? We do, okay? You know, it, it could have worked out with the other one, but, you know, just didn't work out. You know, just, just one couple of two. Now, this two was looking for another two, but so close yet so far away, you know? They just didn't, you know, three didn't laugh at the two's joke, didn't work out. So, now here's the deal. This pair of two, they're going to stay in or go out. Go out, right? Going out on a date. They're going to go to KFC and get the impossible fake chicken meal or something. Whatever. No judgment. However, unfortunately, there was a rabid land shark that devoured one of the twos. It's so weird and so sad, this world that we live in. So, one of the twos is gone. Now, again, couples go out to the left. So, two goes out here. But here's the big question. I got two loners, two and three. They're, they don't, they're not going out. They're staying in. Well, what do you do with two and three? So let's make a little note here. The answer to what do I do is going to be always multiply. Okay. So if you got two loners, multiply. If you got two couples, Multiply. If you got three, multiply. Okay, you get the idea. Multiply. So two and three together multiplies. It's not five. It's what? Six. Okay. Don't add them. Multiply them. Could you do that? Okay. Let's try example three. What's my first step? Break it down. 180 ends in a zero. It's an even number. I should try two. I always try two. But I know it's going to work because it's even. Two times what? 90, okay, cross out 180, 90 is even, 2 times what, 6, and if you don't know, you just go 90 divided by 2, and I get 45, very good, now, 90 is not even, 2 is not going to work, so we always try the next one, 3, does 3 go into 45? If you don't know, divide them, okay? 3 times what is 45? It is 15, okay? So 3 times 15, cross out the 45. And then 15 is what times what? 3 times 5, okay? Now, here's, some people like to skip around. They were like, Mr. G, I could have done four, 45 times 4 at the beginning. You can, but if you do it this way, all your pairs are right next to each other. It's nice and easy to circle, okay? So always start with the smallest. That's my humble suggestion. Now, I got one, two, three, four, five prime factors. Five doesn't break down. Uh, so again, radical house party. So cool. All the athletes from Lee High School will be there. All right. Do I have any pairs? Yeah, love at first sight. Nothing could ever go wrong. They'll never cheat on you, stab you in the back. So, what's another pair? Hey, there's two pairs. You know what? Cupid strikes twice. And so does the Grim Reaper. It's so sad, you know? They forget how to breathe, and they just, you know, goodbye.
Double tragedy. So sad. Okay. You get the idea. So I got a pair of two, pair of three. You want me over here? So the pair of the two and the pair of the three, they're still going to go out. Well, what do I do with them? What? Multiply, like I said. Right? Okay. Well, anyway, pair of two, pair of three goes out to the left. Two times three is six. And on the inside, my loner is five. Is everybody able to break down a factor tree, circle your pairs, pairs go left out, and then loners stay in right? If you have more than one thing, you multiply together, okay? Let's do this one real quick. Even if it's a big number, you can still break it down. And guess what? It's probably going to break down by two a lot if it's even, right? So 1260 is two times what? 630. 630 is even. So that's also going to be two times, and it's 315, okay? This is something you can do on your calculator by dividing by two each time, okay? Now, 315 is not even. Not even. All right, the three go into 315, okay? 315 divided by three is 105. As long as it's a whole number, you're good. <clears throat> now, real quick, 105 ends in a 5. You might be like, hey, let's go, let's jump to 5. Hold on. 2 doesn't work. Try 3. Does 105 divided by 3 give me a whole number? It does. So I don't want you to skip around. Always try the smaller ones first. So uh, 3 times 35. And then 35. Does 3 go into 35? No, not a whole number. So let's try five. Five times seven. And both five and seven are prime. Okay. So I got a big tree. Lots of people at this house party. It's extra radical, right? So what we want to do is now pair up. Do I have any pairs? Y'all see I got a pair of two? And I got a pair of three. All right. Uh, tragedy strikes again. They, their hearts stop beating for some reason, randomly. All right. So pair of two, pair of three. Loner, sorry, the pairs go out to the left. What do I do with two and three? Multiply. The answer is always multiply. Two times three is six. And I got two loners, five and seven. They don't match. They don't like each other. But what do I do with those numbers? Again, multiply. Five times seven, 35. Now I have one more to show you, okay? One more to show you. Stay with me. What is weird about example five? Okay. There's, well, there's already a number outside. This is called a coefficient. So what do we call numbers that go out? They're, they're couples, right? And what did I do to couples? I circled them. So everybody, if you have a number already outside, I suggest that you circle it by itself. Think of that as it's already been done. That couple already went out and had a little tragedy. Okay. And now, proceed as usual. Break down 76. I'm going to do this a little bit quicker since we've been doing this. Two times. 38, cross out 76, 38 is 2 times 19, if you didn't know that, calculator can help you do that, now is 19 prime or no, what do you think, nope, so what, what goes into it, 3 goes into 18, but not 19, 5 goes into 20, not 19, 7 goes into 21 and 14, no. 9, nine times 2 is 18, well, that, that would be 3. No, 19 is prime. There's nothing that goes into 19. You can try every number up to 19, it won't work. So, that's it. Do I have any pairs here? Pair of 2, right? Circle those pair of 2. All right, and... Uh, 
One of them, one of them leaves, vanishes into thin air. Uh, so we got a radical house party. Now here's the deal. Two goes out, but five is already out. Guess what you do with five and two? Multiply. Ten on the outside. Loner is 19 on the inside. That is how you do these. Okay. Now I've shown you a lot of examples. A lot of different, I try to show you every type of example so you won't be blindsided, okay? But right now, with our limited time at the end of this class, I know it's a shorter day because it's a Tuesday, I want you to try one, two, three, four, five, and six. Break down the tree, circle the pairs, pairs go out left, loners stay in right. Multiply if you have more than one. Careful for coefficients. Those are like pairs, okay? So right now, everyone's going to practice that. Uh, with the time remaining, we'll go over the answers. Uh, for sure, but please, everyone's doing this now. Don't get on your phone and zone out and do other stuff. Don't look for Nike merch on Nike website or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? All right, here we go. And you can use the restroom. Sign out to the pet. 